everybody and welcome to another episode of the Supreme Decisions. Well, not the Supreme Decisions, but I guess the channel. Well, today I'm going to go with a little bit of Latin in law. And it's again one of those things where I often sit around, I'm going through something and something just hits me. Well, this one hit me while I was watching television. And before I go any further, Thank you guys for donating. You can actually donate through Apple Pay, your phone, your iPhone, yes, with a simple push of a button. And you can also donate when we're going live through Super Chat. You can also, as well as hitting that cash app. And today, got a little bit of inspiration. But before I go any further, like this video, share this video, comment on this video, and join the Supreme Team. Become a part of the Supreme Society with a $100 donation, or you can do a monthly donation of as little as $10 a month and get exclusive content. The join button is right there in the description, and we're ready to go. But today, I actually want to bring you something because you know I often get inspiration from some of the weirdest places. Today, it comes from television. I was watching television, and something hit me because it made me want to give you Latin in law. And the reason I wanted to come up with this one was because it was during a prosecutorial negotiation. And the question was formed in the middle of a motion argument. And the word or the phrase today is caveat importor, which means buyer beware. Now, I'll give you a little bit of backstory on this. It's an English proverb that real estate contract or on real property in which also it led to people buying things sight unseen. Or in this case, basing your legal argument or legal stance or even the premise of a win on someone or something else that is outside your control. Because it's also used as a legal term when someone makes a promise to the court to which you have no control over or takes on issues of a third party not knowing the true nature of their issues. These are things that are generally known or come up when you're doing a motion because you're using your entire testimony based on a witness. Because again, they can't testify if they are not there. They are not present. And that's again, part of the reasons why as a witness, you have the opportunity to face your accuser because again, that witness is a part of your accuser. And the accusation allows for you to look into that witness's character. You can also use habitual evidence against the witness. But these are one of those things where buyer beware is something that needs to be taken in consideration of. Because again, it's not what you know, it's what you can prove and if someone is choosing to be a witness, they are not only opening up their character, they're also opening up themselves to also have to prove their statements, just like everyone else does when you're called in. So be careful when you're practicing COVID impetor. Buyer beware. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to share, hit the join button, and you can join the channel for as little as $10 a month or you become a part of Supreme Society for $100. And that gives you access to exclusive videos, including the master class that I'll be teaching once a month and one-on-one -on -one coaching two times a month. So those are things to think about. Thank you guys. And don't forget, keep donating. Donations can be done through your phone, via Apple Pay, or you can send it through Cash App and PayPal. The Supreme Decisions. And it's Supreme out.